Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the diffusion set by Mel Chemistry, we will learn how to dye plastic using iodine. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the iodine diffusion experiment, you will need copper sulfate, potassium iodide solution, and disodium disulfite solution. Take the cap, the silicone tube, two measuring spoons, the graduated cylinder, the plastic lid, and the wooden stick from the experiment set. Take the beaker from your starter kit. Boil some water in advance. Keep in mind that you'll need to rinse your plastic items with water at the end of the experiment. Pour one big spoon of copper sulfate from the bottle with the black sticker into the beaker. Add boiling water to the 100 milliliter mark. Stir the solution with the wooden stick until all the crystals dissolve. Put the plastic cap, the silicone tube, and one plastic measuring spoon in the beaker. Use the graduated cylinder to measure 5 milliliters of potassium iodide solution. Pour the solution into the beaker. Mix 10 seconds using the wooden stick. Cover the beaker with the plastic lid. Wait 40 minutes. Then remove the lid and add one big spoon of disodium disulfite. Mix 10 seconds using the wooden stick. Carefully pour out the liquid. Rinse the plastic items off thoroughly with water and place them on the tray. Do not leave the stained items on unprotected surfaces. Compare the iodine-induced colors. Copper sulfate reacts with potassium iodide, forming iodine molecules, which turn the solution brown. Over time, the iodine molecules penetrate deep into the plastic items through a process known as diffusion. Iodine colors different kinds of plastic differently, ranging from brown to pink. Keep the plastic lid to repeat the experiment. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.